right, let's see how to optimize our Zoom room for piano lessons. So we're going to go down here to the microphone and we're going to click the little up arrow and we're going to go to audio settings. There we are highlighted for audio settings. You'll see speaker options. You want to make sure your volume is high enough so that I can hear the student speaking and playing. Then you see microphone. It will be set for your default microphone unless you have an upgraded microphone that you're using. I have an upgraded microphone with my webcam, so I've chosen that one. The default would be my high definition audio device. Then there's a little box that says automatically adjust microphone volume. Do not have that checked. If it's checked, please uncheck it because you do not want Zoom adjusting the volume. I want to know when the student is playing loud and when the student is playing soft. Then you may find an option that says suppress background noise. You do not want to suppress background noise because Zoom will think that the piano is background noise and try to get rid of it. So do not leave it on auto. You can put it on low. Then music and professional audio options. This is the most important. It says show in meeting option to turn on original sound. Yes, you do want that toggled. If it's not toggled, you toggle it on. You want original sound. That means all the sound is being recorded, the voice and the piano. And Zoom is not trying to eliminate the piano as background noise. Then you can close out that box. When you come back into your Zoom room, up on top now, you'll have a box that you can toggle on and off. It'll say, turn on original sound. That's what you want. So you toggle it and it'll light up. If it's lit up, you have original sound. And that's what you want. So every time you come into your Zoom room, you probably are going to have to turn on original sound. All right, that's going to give us our best option for piano lessons. If you have an iPhone or if you have an iPad, it may look different when you go to the Zoom option box, but keep searching around, especially until you find turn on original sound. All right, let's give it a go. That's all for now. Good job. See you next time.